Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with what I've melted over the last week. So I chose uh, VCS and Tiffany candles. I did not get that video uploaded with my scent picks. I totally flaked on it. <laughs> so um, I didn't let you guys know ahead of time what I planned on melting. Um, I will have my video for this week with that. Um, so anyways, I finished up this four pack of Sunny Side of the Street. And this one I absolutely love. It's Lemon Coconut Butter Cake. And you just get a nice lemon coconut bakery set. Um, I have a partial blossom bag in this scent, so I was okay finishing this. This I hoarded my last, like, coin or two coins forever. It was such a good bakery scent. Then I finished Five Families Grandma, and this one um, is a very nice bedtime bakery scent. You do get a lot of it. It is on the lighter side, but it still smells really, really, really good. So I finished that, and I have a whole bunch more of that. And then I did melt this sample from Tiffany's. It was a Teddy Tart in Lemon Marshmallow. Now this, I do not know how it was stored. It came to me as a freebie and a desash, but I got zero throw. I cut it in half like I always do with my Teddy Tarts. And I put it in two warmers and I got nothing out of it. Then I finished whatever this is. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. All I have is the scent notes and I just... Yeah, I don't know. So it was good. Um, it was really, really good. It was a leaf and I think I had like half of it left and I cut each half in quarters and put it in two uh, warmers in the same room and it just smelled really, really, really good. I have more that I finished, but I, they're way at the bottom. So I'm going to just move on. All right. The Great Pumpkin. I really like this one. This is Pumpkin layer cake and cream cheese frosting. This is such a really good fall bakery. It finally cooled off here in East Tennessee. And I wanted some nice bakery pumpkin scents. But that is, that's one of my go-tos. Another absolute favorite of mine I cannot get enough of is Carnival of Souls. And so many people said they don't like this. And I was like, okay, sell all your, <laughs> sell what you have to me. Um, I've actually had a couple people sell me. Uh, some of their Carnival of Souls because I did not like it and so I am excited because I can't get enough of it. I've melted it I think three times this week. It's Cider Donuts Pumpkin Cheesecake Marshmallow Fireside. I mostly get the Fireside scent. Um, I get a lot of that bonfire and I get a hint of the cider and I get a hint of pumpkin but it's mostly that heavy bonfire and I love it. It is such a good blend. I didn't think I was going to like it based on the scent description but I got a loaf of it this loaf in a D stash a while back and um I absolutely love it so this I started out with 12.7 ounces and that's all I have left because I've melted it like crazy and I only got it like this spring I got it way after fall um I got it in a D stash so this is amazing though this is a really nice scent if you guys have this scent and you don't like it message me on Facebook or something or comment here. I will buy it from you. This is so good. I just, I need, I need all of it. So then I did the sample in white sage and sea salt from Tiffany Candles. So this I cut in half. It was just a square shaped tart. I cut it in half. I did it in my bathroom two different days. This is really good. It was a nice fresh scent. I melted this sample in Snow White's Curse from VCS. It's Mac, Apple, Lollipops, and Bubblegum. I did not, oh, and Cotton Candy Frosting. I did not think I was going to like it because I don't like bubblegum and, and wax, but this is really good with that lollipop and the apple. Um, the bubblegum was doable. And so I quartered this and I did a quarter of my kitchen one day and then I did a quarter of my kitchen the next day and then I did the the rest in my office and diner room and it was so so good so that's one I would definitely repurchase which is a shock for me because I'm not above I don't like bubble gum and wax then I did some of this uh lavender fizzy pops love spell from Tiffany's so this um do not go into the kitchen I just mopped the floor the dog's like running around um, I mostly get Love Spell and Fizzy Pop from this. I don't get a whole lot of lavender. It is nice and strong. Now, when it says sliceable rose, I thought that you could, like, cut it without microwaving it, but it crumbled when I did that, so I don't know. Whatever. It still melts the same. So, I did a quarter, two different nights, um, so I still have half left. It's a really good. That's one I would definitely repurchase. 
Then I did some Sweeney's Barbershop in my bathroom. And this is shaving cream, mint, strawberries. I had to rebag this because the bag, the tabs broke. Um, this is a blossom bag. And this is such a good scent. I really, really like Sweeney's. Nice and minty. Oh, no. No, no, no. We're not going to start that. He's like, oh, yes, we are. Then I did some Tiffany Candles, Water Lily and Fresh Mint. So I don't want, like to bring up bad blood, but I was hoping this was similar to Sassy Go Aromas, Water Lily and Fresh Mint because that was one of the only blends that I loved from her that I could not get from somebody else. Um, and so this, I don't remember what her smells like because it's been like a year and a half since I had it, but it smells very similar to what I remember. And this is amazing. This is one I definitely need to repurchase as soon as she restocks it. Um, this is very close. Um, and so since I can no longer order from SGA, I need to find somewhere else. The one thing I've not been able to get a dupe of or find a vendor that does is a dupe of uh, pink sugar sleepy time from SGA. That's the only other thing besides this scent I could not find. So if anybody knows of somebody who makes a dupe, I went to see, I can't get on, she, she blocked me from her group, so I can't even get in her group to search the scent notes. I went to the website to see if I, if there was scent descriptions on there and she blocked my IP address. So I can't even get on her website. So I don't even remember what's in it. I know it's pink sugar and like lavender and I think spearmint. And I know, I know there's like four or five different notes. So anyways, um, if anybody knows of a pink sugar sleepy time dupe, let me know what vendor, but this is very close, if not identical to the water lily and fresh mint that I got from her that I loved. So that's definitely a repurchase. Then I finished deep slumber. I only had half left. I do melt half in the bedroom. Um, it's pink lavender vanilla honey. It is just a very nice pink sugar lavender and you definitely get a little bit of that honey it is a beautiful scent that's one i would definitely repurchase strawberry jackie o i rebagged my loaf pieces because i didn't have much left i'm getting to the point where it's better to just rebag these i feel like they take up less space um i got the idea from tara lynn she was rebagging like her um mini melters because they're such a long bag so this is good this is just a nice strawberry cake blend it is one of my favorites all right then i did some just singing in the rain i did this in the bathroom i do not have scent notes on this okay it's a nice fresh scent i love it that's one i would definitely repurchase i did some white zombie mac apple birthday cake whipped cream i love this one as well this was a really nice mac apple Mrs. DiMaggio's Dream, and this one's Blonde Moment, Strawberry Raspberry Guava Cotton Candy Frosting. I like this one. Um, I, I I need a bigger piece because the piece I did was too small and it didn't smell as good, but I know that it throws well when I can do a bigger piece. So, Kissing You, Strawberry Shortcake, Strawberries and Cream Whipped Cream. This is nice. It's just a nice strawberry bakery. Her strawberry is one of my favorites. Beehive, this is another favorite of mine, and this is lemon coconut cream butter cake zucchini bread. So this is just like Science Side of the Street, but, but with zucchini bread. And this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that one. And then I pulled out for yesterday my favorite Cafe Reggio, which is Cafe Mocha Marshmallow. I was so upset because I, I live too far away to make it to the open house. It was the last open house. And I really just was sad and she had Cafe Reggio body care and I was like oh no <laughs> so I pulled this out to kind of drown my sorrows in my favorite scent yesterday morning then I did uh, Cookie Monster will never go hungry again which is Cookie Monster which is sugar cookie sugar cookie dough buttercream frosting sugar milk and then Wildberry mousse marshmallow zucchini bread and this is just an amazing blend. It is so, so good. I love those two separate. And then you combine them and it's just a wonderful scent. I did Cookie Monster's Toast, which is Cookie Monster and Zucchini Bread Noel. And this is good too. I really enjoy this one. I'm trying to pull out. I did, I bought like every Cookie Monster she had that restock. It was, I think, the December restock because they were poured in late November. Um, I have so many four packs in Cookie Monster blends, but... I was trying to go through some of them because they're approaching a year old. Another one, Cookie Monster Loves Jackie O. 
So it's Cookie Monster, Marshmallow, Birthday Cake, Vanilla Bean Noel. Another really, really good one. This one smelled like I was baking cookies and cake in my living room. So can't go wrong there. Then I did some Count Your Blessings. So I got this. It's Crisp Sheets, Sheets Warm Fuzzies. So I got a loaf in this with the wishing tree. And I had to de-stash it because it was too strong. It was too much laundry type blend together. This by itself is good. The wishing tree by itself is good. But combined was just too much. Um, this is just a nice laundry type scent. Then I did some Sugar Sugar I Believe in Pink. Exclusive Secret VCS Strawberry Blend and Pink Sugar Peppermint. So I like this one. This one I'm going to put in my winter bin because it's got peppermint. Then I did some Bourbon's Orleans Hotel, which is Sutter Lane Pumpkin Cupcake Marshmallow Birthday Cake Noel. And I like this one a lot. It's just a creamy pumpkin scent. Really good for fall. This one, um, Tiffany Candles Strawberry Shortcake Vanilla Wafer. Cream cheese frosting. <laughs> um, my friend Christy and I were talking about how these Sharpies are not permanent. <laughs> I had PM'd her with a blend. I have a lot of Tiffany's in her handwriting that I had gotten as freebies and de-stashes. And I've, I'd had to PM her and go, what is this? I need to rewrite rewrite it. So this was really good. These were these the little her little mini cubes. It was a really nice set. Her strawberry is amazing too. I think she and Kirby has the same strawberry if I'm not mistaken. And this was just plain strawberry. This was a little loaf corner I got from Chrissy. And this was so, so good. I would buy her straight strawberry. Sunny side of 1927, which is lemon custard, buttery cake, coconut cream, fresh strawberry sugar milk, pink sugar. This is really good. Um, I just had a little corner left, so I wanted to finish it up. I love any of those sunny side of the street blends. Then I did the sample of strawberry raspberry guava from Tiffany. This is really, really good as well. Um, her strawberry raspberry guava is very nice. Then I did some good morning and y'all know I love this one. Fruity Pebbles, sugar milk and blackberries. And this one is just a very nice breakfast blend. Then I did some Order of the Warrens. I've been really into the smoky fireside type blends. And this one's Gooey Marshmallow cinnam Glaze Cinnamon Dough at Cider Lane. Warm Campfire Gooey Marshmallow. Um, this is good. I'm kind of getting over the Warrens, but the Order of the Warrens I can do because that smoky kind of comes through a little bit stronger. Then I did some Chunklins in Tropical Oasis with Lavender Vanilla. I did this in the bedroom. It was nice. I should have cut it in half. I think one chunklet is too much. So it wasn't, it kind of like drowned out the scent a little bit, but it was still really good. I finished this Imogene's Lavender Supreme. This is one little melt left. It's a lavender orange smoothie. It is really good. It's just a creamy like orange sherbet type blend with lavender. Then I did some The Winged Mermaid, and this is Shimmering Blue Lagoon Salty Sierra Coconut. I love this blend. This is one of my favorites for the bathroom. It's just a nice, fresh blend. Then I also did some Cape Cod, which is Salty Sierra Sea Weather Driftwood Water Lily. This is really good. Nice, fresh. <clears throat> I did some Kulu Bay. I don't know the scent notes on it, but it's really good. Nice and fresh. I love that one. I did some Butter Brickle Marshmallow Creamy Zucchini Bread. This is really good, too. This was a sample. It was a good size sample, two ounces. Um, I love Butter Brickle and Zucchini Bread together, so that worked really well. I, that would have been really good mixed with coffee. I didn't think about it till after. Pirelli's Miracle Elixir. This one is really good, too. Strawberry Watermelon Mint Shaving Cream. So this one, when I very first melted it, I don't know if y'all remember, I said I hated it. It smelled like acetone, um, like nail polish remover. But then I melted it again and it really grew on me and now I really like it and then I did some uh, cream cheese vanilla princess of Monaco this one is so good cream cheese vanilla wafers lemon curd marshmallow princess of Monaco is one of my top favorite scents from her and it's just so good and that cream cheese and the vanilla wafers just makes it even better then I did a little bit more glass slippers. I meant to finish this, but it was at the bottom of the box, so I didn't. And it's Watermelon Spearmint Snow Taffy. It's really good, nice and fresh. Then I did some on the waterfront, which is Shaving Cream Salty Sierra. This was really, really good. I really like this scent. 
It is so fresh. I love shaving cream blends. So you mix Salty Sierra with shaving cream or anything with shaving cream, and I love it. Strawberry Noel with Birthday Cake Overpour. This is really, really good as well. It was just a nice strawberry cake blend. Then I did some Pomegranate Princess of Monaco, which is pomegranates and lemon curd marshmallow. And this was good too. I was kind of nervous because of the pomegranate, but it did really well. Oh, and here's the other one. Cookie Monster Cafe. So this is the other one I got in that restock. Uh, Cookie Monster and Fresh Picked Strawberries. It was just a very nice strawberry cookie blend. Um, I think there's one. Yep, one more. Okay. The last thing I have is Baby Love. Again, I have to re-label this. It's strawberry buttercream. This is really good. I did not expect a lot out of this because... I mean, strawberry buttercream, I just don't think is going to be a heavy scent, but it was nice. It was super strong. So I was excited about that. So that is everything that I've gotten through this week. I have, I have so much VCS. Oh my God. Um, it's going to take me forever. Like, and that's okay because her stuff does last. Her stuff is one thing that I know I can melt 2017 stuff for the next at least a year, if not two and I know that the 2016 stuff I'm really trying to finish because I do know that won't last too much longer, but I'm okay with what I have. Like, I don't want to buy a ton more because I don't need a ton more, but I'm okay. I'm content with what I have. So anyways, that is it. I will be back with my scent picks for next week and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.